welcome to the Awkward Embraces vlog where we're reading awkward stories submitted by fans. These are the ladies of Awkward Embraces, Lindsay, Candace, Patty, I'm Jessica, this is Lisa, and uh, Patty's got a story for us. This comes from Jennifer in Austin, I suppose to Jennifer in San Francisco. Right, two different. Two people. different. It's popular. Or maybe she moved. She, yeah, she probably gets around, I mean, after that first kiss. I know. Mm -hmm. She probably turned her skin <laughs> Okay. Redo. I was totally in love with this guy in college, and after two semesters of pining after him, he finally asked me out. I ignored the fact that this was only after I'd made out with three of his five roommates over the span of the school year, <laughs> which more than likely had him believing I was a total kissing slut, and that he'd probably get some action from me by the end of the evening. And he was totally right, but more on that later. <laughs> anyway. We planned to grab drinks and go to this concert on campus. He picked me up at my dorm and did some charming Ross Perot impersonations on the way. Wait, that's an um, oxymoron. Ross that's Perot that's is that's charming? Not charming, though. Anyone that does a Ross Perot impression is not charming. I got this chart I'm right here. But I do a good let, let me give you this chart right can here, but we're going to do. <laughs> Impressions that are charming. Very look, we'll get, we'll get dates from this. Mm, because obviously, yeah. that guy got one. I mean, you get some if you do a Ross Perot impression. Wow. Even Ross Perot doesn't get a date with his Ross wow. Perot impression. Bill Clinton. It's possible well, that, that would work. That this Ross Perot thing was a warning sign about this gentleman. Possibly. Red flag! Uh, okay, the concert was fine. And I was generally jazzed to be there with him. Jazzy. Was it a jazz? Yeah. <laughs> I like Hi, you. I like you. <laughs> Uh, things got sour when we walked back to my dorm afterward and he decided he needed to pee and, and instead of just finding a bathroom, just unzipped and went in the bushes. I knew a guy that did that too. Oh my and god. Just pee in people's Who backyards. hasn't peed in a bush? <laughs> pee in people's backyards. It's not, okay, That's peeing so in a bush has happened from time to time from people. People camp. I am jealous They of go on extra long yeah. road trips in the middle of nowhere. They can't but wait. But on a first date... And yeah. Is that drunk? Yeah, is he that drunk? Did, did it seem but they like do kind of know each other. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm jealous of men being able to pee anywhere they want to, but... <laughs> <laughs> that is your greatest <laughs> hatred in life, that you can't just pee. I'm so... I, I get upset to. about that, but, mm -hmm. I mean... That, yeah, anyway. Uh, that's a whole ten-minute discussion on the place. Uh, peeing in the bushes. Yes. While we were still walking and talking... And I remember wanting to bail Wait, right there. Is he like he's leaving a trail? <laughs> I, I think it sounds like. They just started to walk and decided to need to pee, and instead of just finding a bathroom, just unzipped and went in the bushes. Okay. While, while we, we were still walking and okay. talking. That's how Can I you aim it like that when you? <laughs> Maybe he's just walking sideways. <laughs> 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 Maybe get on your shoes. But yeah, but I think she. If I were, I would have stopped. Walking in bushes and walking at the same time and talking. And I remember wanting to bail right there, but figured I'd been into him for so long that I owed it to myself to see this through. She owed it to herself. Oh, Ross Perot, peeing bushman. So I ignored the pee, brought him back to my dorm, made out with him, and that was all well and good until he burped in my face and then carried on like nothing happened. No. Mm -mm. That was when I folded. Urine and burps on the first date? No fucking thank you. Our relationship now exists only in the cyberspace realm, which bodily functions cannot permeate, thankfully. Oh my god. Well done, Jennifer. That is an excellent ending. Wow. Wow. Now, I've had a guy, while we were making out, burp and blow it sideways. <laughs> That's what you should do. That was bad. But to just burp what? right in her face. That's not sexy. <laughs> that is not. If it's sweet smelling, maybe it's okay. What, what burp what is are sweet they? smelling? <laughs> Ice cream burps. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, make it out with you. Yeah. 
Wow. Wow. That is an excellent but, story. And it could have, I mean, there's a varying degree of burst. It could have been a <laughs> raw. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or <laughs> throw up a little bit. Oh, right. you know? uh, no, no. No, they're all bad. Go God. burp. In the face Dudes, come on. That's not. Just, I don't know. That's not cool, dude. And don't don't burp and blow it sideways. That doesn't like that doesn't make it better. No, either. That's if you're not. feeling gassy, just stay away from my face. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, thank Jennifer you. from oh, Austin. Jennifer. That was an excellent story. It was. Bye, guys. See you soon.